1. Remember to look up at the stars, and not down at your feet. 2. Never give up work. Work gives you meaning and purpose and life is empty without it. 3. If you are lucky enough to find love, remember it is there, and don't throw it away. We are just an advanced breed of monkeys on a minor planet of a very average star. But we can understand the universe. That makes us something very special. Quiet people have the loudest minds. Life would be tragic if it weren't funny. Intelligence is the ability to adapt to change. It matters that you don't just give up. It surprises me how disinterested we are today, about things like physics, space, the universe and philosophy of our existence, our purpose, our final destination. It's a crazy world out there. Be curious. My expectations were reduced to zero, when I was 21. Everything since then has been a bonus. The victim should have the right to end his life, if he wants. But I think it would be a great mistake. However bad life may seem, there is always something you can do, and succeed at. While there's life, there is hope. I have noticed, that even those who assert, that everything is predestined, and that we can change nothing about it, still look both ways, before they cross the street. One of the basic rules of the universe, is that nothing is perfect. Perfection simply doesn't exist. Without imperfection, neither you, nor I, would exist. In the universe, it may be that primitive life is very common, and intelligent life is fairly rare. Some would say it has, yet to occur on Earth. The universe doesn't allow perfection. My goal is simple. It is a complete understanding of the universe, why it is as it is, and why it exists at all. There is a fundamental difference between religion, which is based on authority, and science, which is based on observation and reason. Science will win because it works. Although I cannot move, and I have to speak through a computer, in my mind I am free. If time travel is possible, where are the tourists from the future? People who boast about their IQ are losers. The thing about smart people is that they seem like crazy people to dumb people. I'm not afraid of death, but I'm in no hurry to die. The downside of my celebrity is that I cannot go anywhere in the world without being recognized. It is not enough for me to wear dark sunglasses and a wig. The wheelchair gives me away. Not only does God play dice, but he sometimes throws them where they cannot be seen. I don't think the human race will survive the next thousand years unless we spread into space. 
you cannot understand the glories of the universe without believing there is some supreme power behind it. So long as the universe had a beginning, we could suppose it had a creator. But if the universe is really completely self-contained, having no boundary or edge, it would have neither beginning nor end. It would simply be. What place, then, for a creator? I regard the afterlife to be a fairy story for people that are afraid of the dark. Nothing is better than reading and gaining more and more knowledge. To confine our attention to terrestrial matters would be to limit the human spirit. We only have to look at ourselves to see how intelligent life might develop into something we wouldn't want to meet. If aliens ever visit us, I think the outcome would be much as when Christopher Columbus first landed in America, which didn't turn out very well for the Native Americans. However bad life may seem, there is always something you can do and succeed at. Where there's life, there's hope. The idea of 10 dimensions might sound exciting, but they would cause real problems if you forget where you parked your car. The human capacity for guilt is such that people can always find ways to blame themselves. I like physics, but I love cartoons. Only time, whatever that may be, will tell. The increase of disorder or entropy is what distinguishes the past from the future, giving a direction to time. One is always a long way from solving a problem until one actually has the answer. Time and space are finite in extent, but they don't have any boundary or edge. They would be like the surface of the Earth, but with two more dimensions. It is not clear that intelligence has any long-term survival value. Be brave, be curious, be determined, overcome the odds. It can be done. Government works best under the glare of public scrutiny. Absent such scrutiny, abuses occur. Eternity is a long time, especially towards the end. When we see the Earth from space, we see ourselves as a whole. We see the unity and not the divisions. It is such a simple image with a compelling message. One planet, one human race. God abhors a naked singularity. The human race does not have a very good record of intelligent behavior. Simplicity is a matter of taste. We each exist for but a short time and in that time explore but a small part of the whole universe. There could be whole anti-worlds and anti-people, made out of anti-particles. However, if you meet your anti-self, don't shake hands. You would both vanish in a great flash of light. 
people won't have time for you if you are always angry or complaining. The universe does not behave according to our preconceived ideas. It continues to surprise us. Women. They are a complete mystery to me. What you have told us is rubbish. The world is really a flat plate supported on the back of a giant tortoise. I have spent my life traveling across the universe, inside my mind. Einstein never accepted that the universe was governed by chance. His feelings were summed up in his famous statement. God does not play dice. Mankind's greatest achievements have come about by talking, and its greatest failures by not talking. It doesn't have to be like this. The big mystery is why women leave. You cannot predict the future. No matter how powerful a computer you have, if you put lousy data in, you will get lousy predictions out. I am just a child who has never grown up. I still keep asking these how and why questions. Occasionally, I find an answer. It's the gravity that shapes the large-scale structure of the universe, even though it is the weakest of four categories of forces.